This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. The ramble, and we go until midnight Eastern Daylight Time here on the uh, left coast, uh, right, left, left, right, wait a minute, left coast, right, right coast in the United States of America. I always had, you know, I've always had trouble with right and left uh, ever since I was a kid. I don't know why, but I, uh, I just, you know, I, uh, I have to think first. I'm right and left. I have to think with my hands. I can't just go right, left. I immediately, yeah. Anyway. I'm retarded. I'm retarded. That's what I am. I'm retarded. Hey, everybody. How are you? Oh, we're until midnight. Another night of doing this. Uh, I just, tonight, I really wish I could go to sleep. I've just been tired all day. I'm tired every day. I took a, took a Xanax to go to sleep last night, and it has an after effect on me for the rest of the day. So, Anyway, oh, what I do? Exciting today, right? I, I go down to uh, Apple. Uh, I have an appointment at the Genius Bar. I always like to go down to the Genius Bar and, and kind of berate them for the fact that they've really kind of, uh, you know, ruined the term genius. I mean, they've, they've made it uh, a, a term which is, uh, you know, I mean, we apply genius to Einstein. Uh, they just did a thing on Picasso. He was a genius. Uh uh, you know, people. There are other people I would say are geniuses. Uh, Hitchcock was a genius. Uh, Edison, nah, he stole from everybody, so he wasn't a genius. Um, but the, uh, genius is a very rare commodity, and when people have it, it is very, very special. So to simply say that all these people behind this bar at Apple are geniuses diminishes what a genius really is. And a genius is not some nerd who can figure out why your iPhone isn't working. All right? Uh, that would make me a genius because I know it isn't working. All right? So I've been having a problem with uh, the battery lately. Uh, for some reason, it's just been depleting really fast. I mean, I'll wake up in the morning after charging it the day before. It'll be like 9. And I'm going, what, what's going on here? And... There was this whole thing where uh, Apple uh, was doing something with their phones, uh, which was not really nice. Uh, they were, you know, you have that old percentage thing. It was not, it, what, it was, what it was doing is it was slowing down all your apps uh, as your battery started to diminish so it wouldn't look like your battery was getting worse. But all your apps were working slower. And when somebody found this out, on this terribly honest company, right? Um, to make good for it, they said that they would take that thing off of the uh, out of the program of the iPhone, and and the percentage you would get would be the realistic percentage. And all of a sudden, people were seeing that it was eating up uh, uh, memory like cra you know me uh, battery power like crazy. So in order to make good on that deal, they said we'll replace any battery. And we'll do it up until the uh, end of uh, 2008 for 29 bucks. So I figured what's happening was my, uh, my battery was slowing down. So I go down there and I wait for the genius. And I have an appointment at 2.30 and by like 2.45, uh, I finally uh, have this, uh, this genius uh, look at my phone. And he does a diagnostic. They've got... You've got, I wish I could have that same equipment in my iPad. Just give me the same equipment in the iPad so I can just do it at home. Where he just like turns on my phone, right? And then he does a few things on his iPad. And then he can look at what's happening on my iPhone. And he says, well, now your battery power is only about 85%. He said, that's still very good. He said, we don't really start even thinking about replacing batteries till they get down to 80%. Okay, he said, but it's not your battery. 
So I said, well, then what is it? So then we went in, and it seems as though there's a, there's a, there's a thing on your, uh, on your phone uh, that allows all your apps to constantly refresh themselves. In other words, they're constantly polling the Internet, looking to see if there are things that you're getting or not getting or whatever. And uh, you can just turn that off. And it doesn't do much of anything because when you turn it off, your things are still going to work. It's just that you just have to push on the app to make it work. But it's not going to sit there constantly refreshing itself. And so he turned that off. And then he said, and here's another thing where it says... Uh, 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 do um, uh, a notification of where you are. Uh, it's a location. I mean, location, location, location. Anyway, the location thing. And they said uh, uh, you can turn it to always check for location, never check for location, or only do it when I use the app. So I turned a lot of those off because there were things I, did, I didn't need them to know my notif you know, what I was doing. And the rest I put on... Uh, you know, only when I open up the app. You know, it's like things like your uh, or your bank. You know, they'll automatically know where your your zip code is. But you know, it's only going to happen now when I turn on that app, and that's fine. And he said these things are probably eating up at your memory. So you know, I said, well, so's old age. But that's another story altogether. Boy, I was having a problem last night. I, I don't even want to go into it. Anyway. So um, uh, I left the place. He said, you can replace the battery right now if you want to. You have till the end of 2018 for the $29 special, right? And then it'll go up to like 49 But, but uh, uh, what I would do, he said, is I would wait until like November. And if you see it's going down appreciably, you just come on down and replace the battery just for the sake of replacing the battery. So, you know. But I, I've got a, a, a weird thing that I can't figure out. Maybe, maybe people can write me and tell me what I'm, uh, what what I don't understand. I, here's how I've always gotten my iPhones. I've paid the five hundred bucks for the iPhone, and then I've given them a two year deal, right? And uh, that's the way it's always worked. I've had unlimited, uh, uh, an unlimited plan, and I've been happy with that, although I don't use my phone that much that I need to have unlimited. But nevertheless, you know, it's nice to have. So now I'm, I'm getting these things from AT&T, like, you know, why don't you go with the next plan? And in the next plan, which I, I think I've got figured out, uh, I can get unlimited on the next plan and then so far as the phone is concerned I don't pay for the phone I pay for the phone every month and I have to pay for it over either two or three years depending on which plan I take and even if I took the two years it would be cheaper than I'm paying now I pay like hundred and thirty five dollars a month and this would bring it down into the area of ninety ninety six dollars a month for both the payment on the phone and unlimited uh, and so I'm thinking about going to that getting and waiting till the new phones come out and then getting one of the new phones under this plan because now is that a better plan than what I'm doing now where I own the thing I own it outright now because you know I've already pay, paid paid uh, done the two years uh, and I've already paid it off um, so um, is it a better deal for me to do this? And then after a year on that two-year plan, after a year I get to get another phone. So I'm, I'm just wondering if, if, I've, if I've been paying too much is what I'm saying for my phone plan. Uh, and uh, if anybody out there knows, just you, know, can, you can write on the chat if you want to. Not write on the chat if you want to. So anyway, I, just, you know, I was just wondering about that. Uh, but anyway, so I, that was my trip, my exciting trip to the Apple store, uh, you know. And then I go down there and I look at all the stuff and I'm going, God, I don't need any of this shit. You know, there's just too much of it. And, uh, you know, it, the fact that you know that Apple is going to make this year's iPhone obsolete next year 
Or if you if tomorrow they come out with the new one and I buy the new one within a year, I'm going to want so so maybe this whole deal about being able to get a new phone every year uh, is not a bad idea. Okay, uh, and I I think all you have to pay for I think you have to pay the tax on the phone. You have to do that with this deal too, which would be about eighty bucks. But outside of that, I and also it's uh, it's uh, you do get a discount. Uh, on the week monthly if you do auto pay and my business manager doesn't like auto pay he hates auto pay he likes to get the bill at least in, in you know the paperless bill and then pay it okay uh, and doesn't like to go auto pay and I'm if I can save money on my monthly bill by say 10 percent because I go auto pay or by ten dollars because I think it's ten dollars because I go auto pay yeah, you know, every penny you save is worth it. So, I don't know. This is just the new deals, you know. In the very beginning, I bought the goddamn phone. Took two years, and that's the way it went. And I got a whole bunch of them stacked up over here. If anybody, I, in fact, I offered Larry Bubbles Brown. As you know, Larry Bubbles Brown is, uh, he's a, um, um, he's a luddite. Basically, he's not a luddite. He just never has gotten into technology. So he's still got a flip phone, right? Last guy in America with a flip phone. Although they're making new flip phones. But these are like, uh, they've got a, uh, excuse me, I got something stuck in my teeth here. Oh God, that's a whole bunch of crap. Anyway, uh, good dinner tonight. Girlfriend took us out to dinner. And I had to Chipino. Anyway, um, what was I gonna say? Well, I figured out what I was going to say. It was all about uh, um, uh, the new technology or something. I don't know. Forget it. Last night I was having a terrible time, and I'm still having a terrible time. I was trying. I've had a hard time coming up with stuff. Uh, you know, there was a there was a story that we were trying to tell because I was trying to make a point about uh, net neutrality, and the years ago. I think it was HBO, if I'm not mistaken, HBO, that got a thing against them by the Justice Department that they couldn't create movies. They couldn't have a movie company. Because if they had a movie company, uh, then they, you know, they, they might just use their movies and you know, not take movies from other movies companies who could make money off of selling their wares to HBO. But I can't remember the exact ruling, and I have I threatened to look it up today, and I couldn't I couldn't find it. Uh, but my mind was a blank on it. But my mind's still a blank on it, and I, I wish I could remember the ruling. See, what happened was years ago in the movie business, I know this, there was an antitrust action against the movie companies back in the 40s, late 40s. And what that was all about was the fact that they not only owned the movies, okay, but they owned the movie theaters that they played in. For instance, Warner Brothers had a whole group of movie theaters across the country to sh and they would show their Warner Brothers films there. Uh, 20, Fox would have had their own movie, their own theater chain. And uh, so did all the major companies had a theater chain. And what they would then do would be to distribute their films to these theaters. Well, there were a couple of complaints about that. There were independent theater owners who didn't get product at the same time that it was being released because they would prefer to put them in their own theaters that they own. And um, so because, so somebody went to court and sued them. And the Justice Department and the people, powers that be, said in this antitrust suit that the movie companies had to divest themselves of ownership in theaters. They could not produce a product and then own the venue in which the product was being shown. And this HBO decision pretty much was on the heels of that. It was in the tradition of that. Uh, and I can't remember what that particular decision was. But the, all of a sudden, these movie theaters are no longer owned by Warners and so on. So uh, any theater could say, hey, I want, I want that Warner Brothers movie, and they get it. 
as soon as uh, any other f theater would get it. So, uh, but that but that was a a, a ruling uh, an antitrust ruling years ago in which movie companies could not and they still can't own theaters, okay, or theater chains. Like if tomorrow AMC, which is a major movie chain, suddenly decided to make movies themselves, I don't think they could because that ruling still stands. And I think that that same ruling was applied to HBO when they were trying to produce their own films and start, they, they threatened, I think, to start their own movie company. That's what it was. And the Justice Department said, oh no, you can't because you are the method of distribution and therefore the method of distribution cannot own the movie companies. All right, does that make sense? All right, okay, I think I, I, think I got it. Uh, but um, anyway, I was just saying that that flies in the face of a lot of things that are happening now where the internet companies uh, are now, of course, they don't have to abide by net neutrality any longer. And to boot, uh, uh, they, have a, they have a deal whereby, okay, whereby um, they are buying up all these amusement companies, all these movie companies and stuff. I mean, we just had AT&T who is an internet service provider, uh, buy up uh, all the Warner stuff. So they've got like HBO and CNN and uh, uh, you know the Warner movies and all of that, all right? Uh, and because they own all that, excuse me, I'm trying to do work at the same time here. Because they, 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 they do all that, uh, what's amazing is that uh, uh, this old, ruling that went back to HBO and earlier on to the movie th companies isn't holding in this particular situation because when you have a lack of net neutrality and you've got, a, let's say AT&T owning HBO, whose major competitor in the business, really if you think about it, is Netflix. They're having to compete for product, they're having to compete for a lot of things. Uh, uh, AT&T could, under net neutrality, say to, AT to Netflix, well, uh, okay, I'm not, we're not putting you on our system. Or they could say, this would be the other Machiavellian way of handling it, well, because you represent 20, what is it, 60% of all bandwidth used in the evening in the United States is for using Netflix, all right? So the cable company, AT&T could say, okay, we want you to pay more for carriage on our system. Otherwise, we're going to slow you down or whatever. You know, then your people can't get 4K and they, they got a slightly blurrier picture. And they could make it rough for Netflix, but they could say, hey, we own HBO, so we'll let HBO have anything they want. Ah, okay. Do I make sense? Anyway. Now, everybody, some people who called called me and went, oh, okay, well, it's not going to be a big deal because that's not going to happen. Well, it's not going to happen today. It's not going to happen day after tomorrow. But eventually down the line, there's nothing to stop them from doing that. And that's the problem. Okay? So, anyway. So last night, I'm, I'm in this brain fuck. I can't remember what it is. And then all of a sudden, I'm like, I'm like freezing up on everything. I can't remember words. I can't get out a decent phrase. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm either I'm really tired or this is, this is getting bad. Now, I've got this thing where my feet are numb, okay? So, I of course, I look it up on the Internet. And, uh, oh, it's called neuropathy. Or it could be that it's caused by neuropathy. It could be caused by something else. It could be caused by something in my spine. But that would also cause it to be neuropathy. Well, there's this pill, and I can't remember what the name of it, gabapentin that my doctor gave me and said, this might help you with the numb feet, right? Uh, so I tried it and it only made it worse, okay? And then I look up uh, neuropathy and they say, well, one of the ways of solving it is gabapentin. And I'm going, oh God, now I'm never, I'm gonna, these feet are gonna be numb forever. And they have another company, a bit, a thing called Lyrica, but it was invented to replace gabapentin, so it may do the same thing. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to a neurologist, but 
the, the downside of any of these drugs was it says, well, you have a certain loss of memory and you're drowsy. Huh? I do a talk show. I can't afford to have a loss of memory. It was bad enough last night without gabapentin. Okay? So I don't know, you know, what's going to happen, whether I'm going to have to sit here with these, 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 these feet aching like crazy for the rest of my life. Or whether, uh, uh, and, and give up uh, doing any kind of a realistic show. So Anyway, a couple items I thought I'd mention uh, to you. Um, we lost uh, a television commentator for Fox. He was a Pulitzer Prize winning columnist and a weird looking guy. Uh, his name was Charles, Charles Krothheimer. And he died of cancer, he was 68. He was a Harvard-trained psychiatrist. He turned into an uh, unsparing eye for the nation's politics, uh, moving rightward over time, according to NPR. Ralph Hammer, reta Hammer uh, retained the capacity to discern the human element of political issues. Uh, he takes a steadfast, he's a steadfast critic of uh, the president despite the high regard in which many Fox viewers hold Trump. So he was a naysayer over at Fox. Anyway, he penned a farewell column earlier this month, and he announced in the column that he had only two weeks to live and said, no regrets, adding, I leave with the knowledge that I've lived the life that I, in have in uh, that I intended. I, I think that's a really nice way of putting it. I'm, hap I'm happy for him. So goodbye to Charles Krothammer. Um, now, uh, uh, did you hear about the fuck up uh, with uh, Burger King? You know, they got the they got the soccer thing going on, the big World Cup. Every four years, they do the World Cup, and well, Burger King issued an apology after the company ran an ad in connection with the World Cup that was widely perceived as offensive. USA Today reports that the company has apologized for an extraordinarily insensitive advertisement that promised Russian women a lifetime supply of free meals and a cash prize if they were to become pregnant with a child fathered by a World Cup soccer player. <laughs> oh, God. They'll be apologizing for years for that one. And happy days for all of you out there. ABC has ordered a spin-off of Roseanne without actress Roseanne Barr after the show was canceled when she made a racist post on Twitter in May. Uh, the network gave a 10-episode series order for a spin-off entitled... We, we were wondering what it was going to be called. Some people thought it was going to be called Darlene because it would be based on uh, Roseanne's daughter. And uh, no, it's going to be called The Connors. It will star original cast members John Goodman, Laurie Medcalf, Sarah Gilbert, who was the driving force behind the revival. That's why they thought they would call it Darlene. Lisi uh, Goranson and Michael Fishman, and it will air at 8 p.m. Tuesday in the time slot that Roseanne had and was going to occupy for the fall. Um, the report notes that, uh, let me see here, what else? Uh, uh, buh, 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 buh. Uh, the Connor stories, eh, we won't go into that it's a whole publicity thing. But anyway, that was the uh, that was the deal. Now I got one last story. Today, Melania Trump, or as we like to call her, because Jimmy Kimmel started it, Malaria Trump, uh, went down to uh, Texas uh, to a uh, place where they were keeping some of these kids. Now the thing was, it wasn't one of those big places where they were keeping the kids with the chain link fences and the, you know, the thermal blankets and all that. This was an outfit that the HSA, I think it is, uh, uh, has said, okay, you can take care of some kids. And they had like, I think it was 17 kids in this place. And she went and visited that place. She didn't go visit the bad one. She didn't go visit the gulag. She went and visited, yes, ladies and gentlemen, the, the nice one, the one that was okay, that was, you know, pretty. 
So she showed up down there, and I mean, all respects to her for doing it, but of course I'm sure she was pushed out the door by Donald, who said we need some good publicity on this deal, so go do your best. And she's a, she's a fairly intelligent representative. She never goes off the handle. She never says things which are uh, going to make you want to vomit or anything like that. But how she did this, I have no idea. She got on the plane to go there wearing a jacket. Now, it was a fashionable jacket from some fashionable fashion house. Am I saying fashion too much? I guess you have to when it's Melania. And the, it, you, in the photo of her going up the plane, you can't see the, the, what, what's written completely on the jacket, but we also have a photograph of what the jacket looks like in, I guess, the advertising for it. Here's what she wore on the plane. Can you read that? It says, I really don't care. Do you? And there's Melania wearing it on the left. On the right, that's uh, a model wearing it uh, for the company uh, that made it. So uh, I, I don't know uh, what to say. Okay, but that's, that's the latest uh, gaffe for Melania. She went and did something nice, but she had to wear that. Uh, it, it's always a mixed message from that family. Anyway, let me open up the lines here so that people can start calling. If anybody wants to call tonight, last night we had uh, we had a nice uh, bunch of people here, despite the fact that a few people were missing in action, and we got a lot of view a lot of viewers, uh, really a high, very high number of viewers for the, for this program. I think it was four. No, it was a high number, uh, and 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 I was really happy about that. Uh, but except for the fact that I was just kind of losing my mind and didn't know what the hell I was talking about. And I was babbling incoherently, and maybe I should change from tea to coffee. You know, this is tea I drink at night. Okay, I only drink coffee on Fridays when I know I don't have a show the next day. But anyway, the lines are open now. If you n don't know how to call and you've always wanted to, just go over to gabnet.net, go over to the left hand si right-hand side of the page. See, there he did it again, and then the right from the left. Go over to the right-hand side of the page, and there's a whole tutorial on how to how to call and be part of the citizens panel. It's very simple. It's one program you download that's free. It's a call you make for free. It tells you how to make that call. And uh, guess who's the first caller up tonight, boy? Uh, it's, uh, it's SG, ladies and gentlemen. Then we'll be adding to that. Uh, uh, and then uh, we, get, uh, we got Phil Meyer calling us. Uh, let me see here. Uh, let, me, let me move all this over. Okay, hello, SG. How are you this evening? Hey. Yeah, are you there? Let's see your picture, okay? And and see if you can do it so that we don't see you from the nose up, all right? Um, are you there, SG? Turn on the picture. Turn on your camera. Go ahead. Turn on your camera. SG? Are you hearing me, SG? Yes. Okay, can you hear me tell you to turn on your camera? All right. Go ahead. I said turn on your camera. It's not working. Uh, there it yeah. goes. There we go. There we go. It's whirling now. There, and there we go. And, of course, we only have half his face like we normally have. So. Uh, yeah, 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 there we go, SG. If we're going to see the face of the enemy, damn it, we want to see it head on. You know? It's SG with an SD. With an SD? Yeah, look at his hat. Oh, oh yeah, San Diego. Yeah. Uh, and, of course, uh, Jeff has joined us as well. It's a nice Hello, early little, little panel. How are you all today? How was your photo uh, thing, Phil, your photo club? Well, uh, I didn't have much competition. I, I, guess I got another first, but... Uh, I had a shot that came back from the N4C, which is the 14 Northern California clubs. Yeah. And I took first place there out of 14 clubs. So there I had some competition, and I got a first place on that uh, Oakland A's. Uh, yeah, but, it, but this is kind of like me asking uh, anybody else. Uh, uh, what have you done recently? Because these are all <laughs> old pictures. I, I didn't. I took that last year. Yeah? Yeah. You, uh, you know, 
Uh, I had season. Uh, what, I, what I'm wondering uh, is, is can I ask you this? What is the yeah. uh, the uh, the eyesight of these people who you're competing against? <laughs> <laughs> well, they have professional judges that come in and critique them. Yeah, but if you've got like if there's 20 of you and 19 of them are blind, you're the winner. You're you know you become no, the king. No, some of the, some of these guys are just phenomenal. Uh, you know, they, they travel all over the world. They, you know, they, they get some unbelievable, uh, captures. Yeah. 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 So, and, but, uh, yeah. you're good. Yeah. So uh, every week you pick up a photo that you shot maybe 20 years ago and you take it over there and you nah. show it to them and they go, Ooh, that's really nice. You know? Well, you know, I, uh, I went out, uh, whale watching, shooting photos, uh, not this Sunday, but the last Sunday. And, uh, you know, I, I got a bunch of photos from that. Uh, breaches of, uh, you know, full breaches of uh, humpback whales. And uh, I'm just, uh, you know, I'm working on them. Yeah, if I went back to my photo days and, and showed you some of those pictures, I could beat the shit out of you. Well, uh, according to my cardiologist that I have to see on Monday. Oh, here we go. You, you, you could probably beat the shit out of me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They they didn't they didn't tell me what the results were. I, they they want me to see a cardiologist. So maybe the guy's what? chicken to talk to me. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They're your results. I know. Well, You're entitled to have them. Yeah. You know. Well, maybe they want a cardiologist to explain it to me. Yes, SG, what are you making those fingers for? Giving him good vibes. Oh, oh well, I, good right. vibes, yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, you yeah. know, I wish Phil the best, you know, because, I mean, in spite of the fact that I disagree with everything he says and, <laughs> and, and, and consider him to be the most despicable person I've ever known, he is my friend. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> you know, they opened up. Didn't they, you know, they opened up a uh, detention home for those kids. In, okay, in we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. Have Jeez. you visited it yet? You know, you, you, you said Melania didn't visit fast enough. Have you visited the one that's in your own backyard? Uh, you mean the one where they beat up the kids and everything? Well, you get a chance to do it, too, if you donate to de Blasio. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> de Blasio says that he didn't even know it was there. But that's not unusual for de Blasio. He doesn't know anything. Well, this there. is all HSH stuff, you know, and uh, uh, he might not have known. I, I would yeah. agree with that. And it, 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 it's not one of those places that's housing like thousands, you know. It's like a handful of people. So. Uh, I don't know how many. I thought it They've was They've got these kids scattered all over the country. How they're ever going to reunite them with their parents, I have no idea. Very simple. Very simple. When you arrest somebody, you write a report. Mm -hmm. That report... Uh, says, you know, where they're taking the the detainee. Now, this is well, under ideal circumstances, are we not? No, 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 no. it's not ideal. You either I, I, do the job or you don't well, do the well, job. Yeah, but wait a, minute, wait a minute. Now we're talking about you either do the job or you don't do the job. How many people you know don't really do the job they're supposed to be doing? I don't know that many cops because there are well, so no, many. It's not a matter of cops. It's just a matter of I don't, uh, they, uh, they've already said that they don't know how they're going to get all these parents together with their kids because they're scattered all over the country. Yeah. You know. What about the 4,000 that they lost under Obama? Because uh, Obama separated uh, and, and had, had uh, kids that were not uh, with adults. Where did you and, hear this? Uh, yeah, it's just common news. No, it isn't common news. I didn't hear it. Yeah, they they said I think the I think I think I went I think I, I think I went over to Newsmax and somebody was saying that. Well, I don't get Newsmax, but uh, you know it's it's news. You you can look at it. You can look further for the uh, uh, for the unaccompanied kids that they've lost track of. Well, uh, you know, uh, blame it on Obama. Go ahead. Of course, blame it on Obama. Yeah. How about, how about uh, Charles Crodhammer? Yeah, I just mentioned him a while back. Yeah, he was a cripple. <laughs> That's a nice yeah. way of putting it, Phil. He actually he actually started out as a, uh, a liberal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, he was an editor for the uh, New Republic, I believe. And he um, what he did was he was an athlete and... Uh, 
he was accepted to uh, Harvard Medical School, and then he went to Oxford, and then his parents wanted him to be a doctor. So he said, okay, I'm going to sort of do what I really want to do and be a psychiatrist, which is sort of not hard medical. And, and really, and so he graduated on time with being paralyzed from the neck down. Mm-hmm. And so he was a speechwriter for uh, Walter Mondale. Mm-hmm. He was uh, in the uh, New Republic magazine. And then when he saw Ronald Reagan, he said, you know what? I agree with that. I agree with that. I agree with that. And it took him about a decade. And then he said, you know what? Because he, real- he didn't originally agree with it tax cuts. He didn't re- originally agree with uh, a lot of the stuff, but then he became the person for almost 25 years to be the just right of center uh, voice of uh, conservatism. Yeah, he was, yeah. he was not really right, 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 right. He was slightly to the right. He, and in fact, uh, at Fox, uh, he was the almost the lone Trump detractor at Fox when it came to commentary. Oh, def- def- definitely. Definitely. Yeah. He's right next to Brett Barry. He's in, in fact, they're saying maybe we could, uh, you know, take that chair and, 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 and uh, make it something that no one else can sit in that chair. Right. But Now, wasn't he on that show that the guy died and he, called, he used to say bye-bye? Uh, what was the name Bye-bye. of that? Oh, that, that, that was uh, what's McLaughlin. No, McLaughlin. McLaughlin. That's he was it. not on McLaughlin. He wasn't? No. He was not on McLaughlin. We have a, by the way, we have a, uh, turn yourself sideways there, uh, uh, Ray. Oh, sorry, sorry, yeah, there sorry, you sorry, go. Sorry. There we yeah, go. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 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 we have another another remote with Ray. Ray, Ray phones yeah. and show in <laughs> from a location every time. You know. <laughs> Because I, I, because I'm sitting here listening, and I just, I just heard this bullshit about how Obama was separating kids yeah, from their parents. Yeah, yeah. that's bullshit. And, and, and it is bullshit. The only, here's what, ha- here's what happens, if the, if they came in and they didn't know who the parents were, they were separated, because they were just separated because the kids came in wandering on their own, or if there was some, some consideration that possibly the parents were not actually their parents and they were impostering parents and they would separate them and it happened like once every six months no there was over i mean this is just a republican where do do you get the number of four thousand phil from the same place that i got the information okay okay but you know we really can't look up your ass so why don't you pull the facts out and read them to us (laughs) although we'd like to Uh, You know, I mean, uh, I I have not heard anything about four thousand. You know, you've got you've got a president who is currently supplying the world with a lot of disinformation, and I think even SG, who is to the right, would agree that that Trump has a tendency to, shall we say, stretch the truth. I mean, if Obama like, lying, you, you mean like uh, the. Uh, the videos of uh, both Bill Clinton and both Obama saying we need to stop immigration. They're about, they're uh, I don't there. think they didn't say stop immigration. There was yes, a they, no, no. They, we need to. We are we oh, are, are a, we are a country of laws. This is both what they said, and I can send you the. No, I no, no, no. You. I know what I know what they said, but it was referring to the fact. That there were a lot of illegals crossing across the border, it was getting to be a real problem, and, and something had to sudden, something had to be done. Chuck, to, and some, then Chuck Schumer, he he voted for uh, uh, to to uh, uh, for the wall back then. No, 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 no. Well, uh, here's what happened: he had a meeting with Trump, and he said, "We might help you with the wall if you will give us DACA." And uh, Trump did nothing about it, so Schumer isn't giving him the wall. That's all. It was it was a deal that didn't happen. Here comes Phil with some. He went somewhere and found his fact. Uh, <laughs> SG, you're gonna have to ha- take a drink. 
Uh, Charles <laughs> McLaughlin, uh, not uh, 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 let's see, Krautheim, Krautheimer, Krautheimer was uh, on the McLaughlin group. And along with uh, Pat uh, Buchanan, Eleanor Clift, uh, Tony Blankley, yeah. uh, Wrong! Lawrence O'Donnell, John McLaughlin, uh, Fred Barnes, uh, Morton Kondracki, and Charles Krautheimer. Oh. Well, they yeah. weren't all on at the same time. You named way too many. Well, they don't they, have to be on at the same no, time. No, they, ha they had four people and then McLaughlin, and those were yeah. some of the people that... We're always in the chair. Krautheimer chairs. was also on it. Yeah. Uh, yes. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, Ray, you've got your hand up. Yeah, I guess I want to say something. I want to try to be calm instead of blowing a head gasket like I usually do. I know. It's like, okay, so you you say to Republicans, uh, Trump is holding 4,000 kids. Okay. Then they realize that then they say Obama did the same thing and they realize that that's not true. So then they switch to, oh, but we have video of Clinton and Obama saying we need to control immigration. Of course. But every president's always said that we were talking about the kids and then they switch the subject to something else. I mean, it's like this. It's it's this weird psychological thing that drives me insane. And I, I don't know how to deal with it. I don't know how to deal with this. I don't know what I don't understand this kind of thinking. Um. Yeah. I, am, am I the only? Am I? <laughs> yes, you're the only one. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you guys are all uh, uh, no, I, geniuses, oh, like yeah. I said. I mean, you are. Fucking geniuses. Well, here what? it is. No, oh, gee, here we go. He, 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 Federal agencies lost track of 1,500 migrant uh, children. Now that is. Now, what's the key word there? Lost track. Lost track. Yeah. 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 Okay. So we're not saying they they took fifteen hundred kids and they put them in a gulag somewhere. They lost wait, track wait, of. Them. Okay. Didn't say that. Jeez, wait a minute. Words in my when mouth. They, when, when they when they take these kids to these these facilities, let's let's be clear. Mm -hmm. These kids, for the first time, are shown hygiene. Oh, oh my God! Come, Come on, 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 on SG. SG. Oh, God, give me, uh, God, give me strength. Have you ever been to Mexico? They've been in the they, desert for they, a month. They, yeah. They, first of for all, the first time? First of all, they're coming from Central America. Where, where nobody, where, by the way, oh. let's remember, in oh, Central America, it is a known fact nobody takes baths. Go ahead. Such, no, but it has, I'm saying. They want to go to the bathroom yet. Yeah. For the first time, <laughs> look. I, you know, you know why I have this hat on. <laughs> That's where the kids are. <laughs> I grew up five miles from the border. Oh. And you know what? Canada. I, I had in in my back over the fence where I lived, we had illegals who were brought by taxis, put in a dumpster because they were that was their uh, first. Wait a minute, wait, hold on a second, hold on a second, SG. Uh, uh, Ray, can you mute yourself? I think we're getting some noise Yeah, from oh, you. yeah, freeway, sorry. Yeah, uh, you're, he's walking under a freeway, and, and, yeah. And put your hands in your pocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, okay, okay, okay yeah. go ahead, SG. I was just trying to make it because then you... These folks yeah. who we would see be, being put in a dumpster, yeah. that was their first point of contact, then someone else would pick them up to take them somewhere else. So my point is this. That I mean, I lived in Chula Vista, which is we called it Chulawana, and just as a joke, th that the, the there are networks that anyone who thinks that these people are naive, that they come over, that that all of a sudden that um, you know you're being separated and everyone's having, they all know this. They are not stupid. They are they are. They are um, in their network. They are uh, shown where to go, and there are 328 custom uh, points of entry where these people can do this uh, legally. 328. Did you know that? No. Yes. So there are 328 and because I don't know all, it, I'm not going to take all, your word all, for it. All, 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 all along the border, along the border, and in, in different points of uh, 328. 
ways to come in here legally. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So what, what's the point? The point is we need to be respectful of the children. Mm -hmm. We need to let everyone know that it, this is not like everyone's... The point is how, how can we stop the immigration coming in that we have coming in because there's there's a lot of points that are great on both sides but we need to stop the politics that's my point well my, my question to you is uh, uh, one of the ways I guess uh, our ability to stop this immigration is to stop the reason for the immigration and we can't do that. That's up to other countries. What we're That's doing true. is we're getting a problem because of the fact that other countries aren't taking care of the problem. People That's are true. leaving those, those parts of the world because they're fearing for their lives, for their safety, and everything else because the countries but, they're in are doing nothing but, about but, it. But nevertheless, we are America, and we have always but the, been... We've but always, the other thing is... The other thing is, Alex, when people come here, yeah, we we are actually protecting the children, yeah, because a lot of the people that come here are not related to. Well, the this children. is not, but we're not protecting the the children. In we're, fact, no, we're, listen, we're, we're, if, we're, if, if you would just listen, just for if you would listen yeah. for a second. By the way, by the way, by the, by, by the way, Phil has his hand up and wants to get rid. Phil, Phil, wait, hold on a second. Phil, protecting the children, yeah, because. Yeah. Those people, a lot of them are coyotes. A lot of them are not related. A lot of them are are, are in for certain, and uh, they know uh, where the uh, points. Sg, are Sg, they know where the uh, points. Sg, are I have to, I have to stop if, you there. If you, if I, you have this SG, deal, Sg, you are, Sg, you are assuming uh, that SG, these people are Sg. Sim when I want to talk, please let me talk. You are intimating that there are tons of coyotes and the fact is there's a handful of coyotes you know uh, 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 who are uh, taking these people and smuggling them into the united states that's that's what these people are paying them like sometimes five grand for Let's protect the handful yeah well and now uh, uh phil has uh, his glove on which means we're going to get a rectal exam from <laughs> phil so go ahead with your rectal exam phil uh, uh According to Wikipedia, yeah. there's 48 places where people can legally cross the Mexico-United States border. Yeah. And they're using those. A lot of them are coming across the bridges there. And uh, they've been on those bridges for three, four, five days at a time waiting to hear, talk to somebody who will talk to them about asylum. It's not like they're all coming across illegally. You know, oh. a lot of them are trying to come across they're legally. No, oh, hey, Alex, look, look, hey, look, hey, Alex look. You, want a, you want a solution? What? I have a solution. And I sent this to Ted Cruz. So they want to get a, a bunch of judges who will uh, adjudicate these people, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They want to hire, right? Right. So I'm saying, instead of doing that, which, uh, who, who, who are you going to hire? Why not? Go to all the judges in the U.S. and say, "Can you devote one hour or one whatever to this and do it online?" We call it the online uh, immigration adjudication program, where current judges, so when an illegal comes in, they can see. In, instead of having a judge, it will be a. Uh, uh, a TV set, and it'd be like yeah. Skype, and and the same. The thing is, my daughter does this through uh, Harvard now. She has a deal. And, and, what, and what do we do about the translation part of it? Well, you have people who are there to able to translate. Yeah. So okay. then, the, the thing of it is, my daughter does this through uh, Harvard, and the Harvard professor sees all these people on a wall just with screens in their faces mm -hmm. so instead of having to do that yeah. all of a sudden you uh, bring these people yeah. and then you could adjudicate all these people so i've given you yeah. the solution alex well, i don't uh, know you, i don't know if you, that's you a can solution. bring that you can bring that to 
uh, Trump and you'll be hero. Oh, yeah. Like he'll listen to me. Hello. Uh, hello, uh, 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 Brian. Hello. What are you eating? Ice cream. Ice cream. Oh. You know, you keep doing that and you're going to turn into a big blimp. <laughs> To a certain extent, I already am. Yeah, right. You had your hand up there, Jeff. Did you want to say something? Uh, I guess I uh, I need a break. <laughs> I'll, I'll pass right now. Oh, you'll pass right now? Okay, well, anytime you want to join in. Yes, Phil, what other new fact do you have, Phil? Me? Yeah. Why? I was uh, I was answering a page. You're answering a page. Oh. Well, uh, a, a message. Oh, somebody needs flooring? Yeah. <laughs> Emer emergency fluorectomy. Really? <laughs> so I didn't hear from my doctor today, so I, I would imagine he probably got the results back. So I, 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 he'll probably just mail them to me, and I guess there was nothing terrible in them. Well, if somebody needs flooring from you, be sure to wear protection and to show them a shot of your entire body before going right. really. hey, No, this is... Um, my doctor gets back to me. I, I said, you know, they were supposed to tell me the results of the test. Well, it's been two days. What the fuck is the results? Well, uh, so he refers me to a cardiologist who will tell me the results of the test. You know, I need that like I need a hole in the head. Well, you'd like some kind of an answer. Like, hey, yeah. we saw something that's suspicious. We want you to see a cardiologist, you know. Yeah, so they send me a thing to uh, choose a cardiologist and make an appointment uh, online. Oh, I see. And then it'll be like three months from now when you get the appointment. At and, Monday. And by then you'll have the heart attack. Yeah. Why do I, Monday. I made it for Monday. Sure. Yes, huh? uh, Ray. Uh, yeah, hey, Alex, I heard you talking about the <clears throat> gabapentin problem. Yeah. So I had a, I had a really bad nerve damage in my neck and so they gave me gabapentin and it made me worse too, yeah like that yeah. i was in total pain like dying yeah it made my but feet worse them. yeah yeah so i called and they said okay stop taking it i'm gonna give you a prescription for lyrica if one doesn't work the other one usually does and they gave me the lyrica and within a day it was like a miracle oh, okay I, I felt so it's probably 80 like percent better so probably <laughs> lyrical will probably be the answer here yeah, yeah. yeah. and they usually do gabapentin first because it's cheaper yeah, did it make you feel uh, drowsy, by the way, the, uh, the Lyrica? Lyrica? Yeah. No. Oh, yeah, yes, it did. The Lyrica made me drowsy. In fact, I was in a, a show at the time, and yeah. it was a play where we all had to be on stage the whole show, and I kept falling asleep in my chair on stage oh, while great. the show was going on. And I've never worked there since, and I think that's probably why. I think they tell you. To, I, 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 I think they tell you. I stopped the Lyrica. I think, no, but I, I think they tell you to take things like Lyrica, uh, before you go to sleep, that's the, no, that's oh, the best yeah, time to do it. Sleepy. I, I was fine until I, I, I didn't feel sleepy until I sat down or something. Like if I sat down, I'd suddenly like fall asleep. I couldn't keep my eyes. Well, there's nothing, there's nothing right. worse than an actor in a play falling asleep on stage. Oh, it, was, it was horrible. It was horrible. So I stopped taking it. Ray? I stopped taking it. I was fine. And then I, I don't yeah. sleep anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you have sleep well, apnea? You know, I do. Be before but, I went, before I started using the machine, I was falling asleep at stop signs. Oh yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, at a twenty. Or you have to pull over every minute twenty minutes home, and take a nap. Yeah. I used to have to pull over halfway and nap. Me too. 20. Me too. <laughs> so I, uh, every every half hour I would nap if I was driving. Yeah. So the machine. Okay, me too. Yeah. New, new mood. Me too. You know, you know what I love about yeah. doing this show. I'm yeah. a hypochondriac, and I worry that everything I'm getting is going to kill me. And when I hear you guys, I kind of <laughs> realize that I'm really in pretty good shape. Yeah, you are. You, you know, are. my heart's you okay. Are. My heart's okay. I, I don't know. Knock on wood, the prostate is probably okay. I mean... Uh, Phil with his prostate problem. Uh, 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 of course, we got Jeff with the with the ticker stuff. Uh, we got Brian. Well, Brian's just sick on his own. Uh, Ray Ray has all, all these little things. Me, I got my. I got, I got a whole bunch of shit. I have a torn meniscus. You know, I mean, come on. I had mine operated <laughs> out. Yeah, you I had. went to a knee. I went to a knee surgeon today. 
And he said, I just have to live with it because it's not bad enough to get a knee replacement. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. Ray, I think maybe the reason you were falling asleep might have been the apnea. No, no, no. I was already treated for apnea for years before that. It was the Lyrica. Yeah. Absolutely the uh. Lyrica. As soon as I stopped, I, I, um, that was only one weekend. I said, okay, I got to stop this thing. My shoulder's better. I stopped it. It was gone. I didn't, wasn't falling asleep on stage anymore. Uh. I mean, I wasn't completely out, just that my eyes... Come on, are there any other people up out there? We could use a blind person calling tonight, and we, of course... That would be great. If, if we could get Patrick to call, he's in a wheelchair, and, and... And we got you for crazy. <laughs> I'm not crazy. I I'm not nuts. <laughs> I, I, uh, you're a liberal. I, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm a liberal. <laughs> I'm not a I'm not a liberal to begin with. Remember that always. Oh, uh, okay. So you you'll pull the liberal card. I'm a leftist. I'm not a liberal. I hate liberals. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I don't know what the. Difference. I, I always used to say that on uh, on serious. I think that's why I'm not there anymore. It's because I kept saying <laughs> I hate I hate liberals because I liberals are uh, it's it's like Phil Oakes said they're ten degrees to the right left in good times and ten degrees to the right when it affects them personally. You know, Alex, you and people like Jimmy Dore are the reason why you're not on the program. Huh? You and people like Jimmy Dore are not are are the re uh, that that's the reason what you who's, just said. Who's who's Jimmy Dore? I'm uh, it on him. Jimmy Dore show on YouTube. I've never, never I've never watched it. Yeah. Never heard yeah. of him. Yeah. I never heard of him. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Sorry about that. I have this stupid thing I, on my thing that makes pictures. Okay. Oh. All right. Oh, was that it? All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why? Did you just send us a picture? Let's see here. Did he, did, yeah, yeah. Did yeah, he send a picture? I can, I can show it to the. I can show it to the audience. I uh, sent two pictures of yourself. I mean, it's nothing. It's just you guys sitting there. Uh, I mean, that's that's all all oh, wait a minute. There we. Here we go. There we go. See all those yeah. pictures? There's, there's, uh, oh, there's, there's, how did, how'd you do that? Well, there's a little, uh, I was trying to turn the camera around, but on Skype, on the phone, there's a little thing that uh, <laughs> looks like it's going to turn around, but it's actually a snapshot taker. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah. Okay, well, there we go. We have pictures of everybody uh, there, so. Yeah. If, if people want to send us pictures, I can, I can, I, I can show them. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Anyway, oh, uh, oh, there, oh, there we're walking down the street. This, this, this is not this no is dog not today. The one I submitted, but because uh, I recropped the one I submitted. Yeah. So this is uh, the Willie Brown, Brown Bridge. Yeah. Uh, with a super moon uh, uh, above it. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, and it took first. Yeah, where at the postcard convention? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, hey, Phil, i got to join your club so I can kick your ass. Yeah, well, I wish somebody would try to kick my ass. I'm send in me basic. Information. Right send me, send really me the information. Send me the information. We can have... Christy moves. Just, like, okay. let me know what it is. I'll join. Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll send you the uh, link. Okay. So did you did you see the picture I showed earlier, Melania Trump? Yeah, well, I saw, I saw it in the news. Yeah. What is that all about? Uh, it was a stupid jacket, and uh, her handlers should have said something. I mean, to to have a and let me show the audience. You guys won't be able to see it, but th th this was the picture I showed earlier. There is the on the right hand side. That's the fashion photographer picture of the jacket, and there's Melania wearing it going up the Air Force One, and it reads, "I really don't care. Do you?" And she was off to see these kids in the, uh, uh, in the, in the uh, what do you call it, the deal. Uh, yeah, the home. The, the, home. the yeah. halfway house. Yeah, I and I, you know, I, what possessed her to do that? You know, uh, that was a stupid move. <laughs> okay, I'm glad you agree. I mean, Alex, look, look at the way you're dressed. I mean, come on. What do you mean? What, how am I dressed? Now what? I, I, I yeah. advertising a tennis uh, match. I mean, uh, uh, huh? Yeah, I'm, a, I'm advertising a tennis match. That's it. You know, <laughs> I could wear my uh, uh, I could wear my Obama as a Chinese soldier shirt if you'd like <laughs> me to. <laughs> yeah. Tony gave me this. 
I can change hats. Hold on a second. I can change hats here. By the way, I'm wearing shorts tonight. America. It's been hot and sand in New York City. There we go. Wait a minute. Hold on. Here we go. This I bought in China. I bought this in China, too. Love this. This is my favorite cap. Wait a minute. Where, where, did, where did SG go? I wanted uh, him to see my cap. Oh. I, you know what I was thinking about Melania? Yeah. <clears throat> it, it's maybe it was her little message to say that she's like being held captive and and she doesn't want to be doing this. And it's, her, it's like her little message to the world, like, help me. Well, I'm not the making I me go to Mexico. Okay, what's your, what's your, wait a minute. Okay. Y- yes, Brian. Brian. What, Brian? I'm just saying, maybe she's. Ray just touched on something. I mean, he was being hyperbolic and, and silly about it. But I think more seriously, uh, she may be trying to sabotage her husband. She may hate the, She may hate him on account of the fact that she has to sleep. With, he has slept next to him, and it's let, it has at him. Well, in I, her. I, re, re, reusing a reusing a joke I did for somebody else. I don't know how Melania kisses that guy without Ugh. vomiting in his mouth. Vomiting. Oh, 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 now you're wearing a Trump shirt. Okay, SG. <sighs> See the hat I'm wearing? This is an official army, a Red Army hat. No, it's a, it's a French hat. Well, because no, no Macron, this, this, this is a Chinese <laughs> army cap that I'm wearing. <laughs> I love this cap. I just don't wear it out because I don't know that I might not have some Chinese people who will attack me on the street for wearing it. Yeah. They'll run you over with a tank. They run me over with a tank, right? Right. Tiananmen style. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, you, what, what are they? They used to call it uh, uh, gangman style or something. Gang. Some, no, that's that's South Korean. Yeah, that's South well, Korean. Well, this is Tiananmen style. No, but uh, <laughs> uh, no. If, if, uh, you know, if you've ever been in Tiananmen Square, that's one big fucking square. You supposedly can see it from space. That's how yeah. big it is. I've been to Plaza San Marco. Uh, Not, know, the, nothing like the size of Tiananmen Square. And on one side of it is the People's Congress. Yeah. And on the other side of it is where Mao is entombed. And I went and I saw him. They got him stuffed, you know. Captain. <laughs> hey. Uh, it's backwards, but hey, this is for Phil. America. Hey. Yeah. America. Hey, America. talking Any about the Italians. Case. Talking you about the here. Italians, Renati. They what? just they just pushed away uh, two boatloads of migrants from uh, 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 Africa, and they wouldn't let the boats land in in, in Italy. Where yeah. in Italy? Uh, what part of Italy? Huh? Italy. Must have been Sicily. No, I don't. I don't. I don't know if it was Sicily. It was Italy. <laughs> okay. Two, well, whatever. Two boatloads I'm of migrants. American. Huh? Well, the fucking. Well, they're dicks then. Well, they told them to, you know, go through the Mexican border. Uh, the the Americans will take. Yeah, it. <laughs> yeah, well, you know we won't. Yeah, ah, whatever. Yeah. I mean, it's terrible that they did that. It sucks. I yeah. think it just sucks. It's planet Earth. People are trying to live. You know, they're, they're like, they're, it's like we ha- we're we're lucky enough to be born. Those people are unlucky enough to have whatever situation, and they're fucked. You can We say it's. You know, you, you, we we dropped out of a giant United States, and they didn't. So fucking bad for you. Yeah. Well, no, we let plenty of people into this country, uh, but the president wants uh, to let them on merit. Uh, he wants to for World War Two. We let everybody in, unless there's, you know, well, that, was was, that was all just everybody welcome, unless they were. You're you're breaking up on us, Ray. uh, Ray, you're breaking up a bit because you're losing your... And then we lost your picture. Mm -hmm. Uh, But Uh, there we go. There we go. Uh, Italy says Spain should take the next four migrant boats. Uh, Italy's interior minister refuses to port migrant rescue rescue ship. Uh, It doesn't say where they tried to land. But they're sending them off to Spain. Well, wait a minute. Italy took a whole bunch of people, right? Uh, well, they're refusing these guys. No, no, but they're asking some other country to do the job too. You know, uh, you know. 
the, the, the biggest problem uh, that we have with, uh, with, usually with this kind of thing, in any country, is the influx of people causes a, uh, a, a strain on the economy. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, but I, you know, I don't see that uh, uh, we've seen a big strain on the, you know, Trump is acting like all of a sudden there are these hordes of people coming over the, uh, the border, okay? Even at its worst, it was never so bad that it was, that it was costing this country a fortune. It was I think it's up 75%. What? I, I heard. I thought I heard it was up 75% over the last couple of years. Uh, oh, yeah. it, of it, no, it actually, it actually, at one point, it went down. I think during the Obama administration, it's gone up since Trump started issuing the the uh, you know the challenge. Uh, I think it's been going up for years. Last last year it went down. It was it, and then they they decided that they knew what to say to come to the border and now it's almost tripled. Well, you so know, I'll tell you. When, look, when, look, he, look, when, when, don't, don't say they. What were, you, what were you saying, Jeff? Go ahead. Look, just don't say they all the time. I mean, you don't know who you're talking about. What do you mean? If, if you talk about a specific person or a group of people, describe them. Just say they. It doesn't mean much. It's like all the, right. You know what? You're right. I agree with that. No. So let, if let we me, don't know. We don't know. Let, let, let me uh, describe they, because I agree with you. Uh, between 2011 and 2018, 250,000 uh, people within the state of Texas were have committed 650,000 crimes, and uh, I've said this before, and Alex will remember it. And these these are people who are incarcerated, have rapes, have murders, and these are real instances. And I can give, I can give the DHS for uh, Texas all day long on this. One thing about Alex, uh, if if he's like me, he can't remember anything. <laughs> well, I, no, I, I, you know, I would probably if I had things at hand here, be able to probably dispute your claims uh but i don't have the facts here to do that but i think you're maybe overstating the case no uh, look it up yeah you'll look it up phil i don't trust you looking up anything because you will <laughs> and, and, unless it came from the politburo you wouldn't accept anything you know uh are you implying to, that i like putin out, are you implying that i like putin I'm implying that your you're president Putin. loves Putin. <laughs> that's that's who Trump. Well, that's why you should like Trump. He, he likes your your people. <laughs> My, oh boy. Well, for the last fifty years, you love those guys. You know, loved what? If, if, if if the Russians did anything, you thought it was the best thing I in never, the world. Who says I love the Russians? <laughs> well, where did you ever get the you fucking idea that I like the Russians? You lefties love the commies. The, only thing, I, the, the was, only thing is about the Russians is I think they're some of the loveliest women in the world until they get to be 50 and then they have a mustache. Or until they open their mouths. <laughs> Listen, Whoa. Russian women Russian women are hot. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. you got to admit that. And they're smart. Huh? And they're smart. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, come on. You know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They are beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Brian, what else is new? <laughs> Not a whole hell of a lot. I mean, I didn't, yesterday I didn't call in because I, I fell asleep at 5.30 and uh, I had a system shutdown, I guess. I fell asleep at 5.30 uh, yesterday evening and I didn't wake up until 4.30 the following morning. Uh -huh. What about it? Uh, so, uh, I was up the light. So you, yeah, but so you found another job, so you're working. Yeah. Is it good pay? Yeah, we'll find out. What do you mean you'll when find I, out? When I get my first paycheck, when I see the when I see the when I see the denominations in hard print, yeah, and can cash the motherfucker in and actually get something. From uh, it. I mean, the hourly wage is okay. Well, it's uh, what I was doing when I talked to you last was uh, 
independent contract gig. However, it ends well it was an independent contract gig, so they pay you by the deal. In terms of how the, the how the pay scale is, uh, although I am paid uh, weekly. Yeah. Uh, that having been said, this coming Monday I'll be uh, with a uh, Class B trucking company, and it'll be a traditional eight-hour or more uh, job, forty plus hours a week. Good. So you drive eight. those big trucks? That kind of thing, huh? I'm sorry. Those big trucks? Is that a Class B takes that? Yeah, Class B, yeah, straight trucks. I could drive. I could uh, uh, go in and uh, re refresh myself to uh, drive uh, tractor trailer since I have a Class A, but I have no desire to do that any more than I have any desire to play with an extra pedal for my foot or a uh, gear shifter for my hand when I'm uh, being paid just the same amount. Right. Driving it all. Mm. So anyway, not did, hey Alex, did did you uh, talk at all about uh, uh, the Roseanne show? I or mentioned I mentioned it earlier that it's yeah. it's yeah. It, that they're they're they. Oh, okay, you did. I now I remember. Yeah, yeah. that they said uh, it's going to be called the Connors, and uh, I I I think here's how I I'm I'm making the bet they kill off Roseanne. It was built right into the last script. Yeah. Yeah, the operation. She had to go in for an operation on her knee. So all they have to say is, it went, what is that on your shoulder? You see that doll? Gee. You got Barbie, you got Ken, you got Trump. <laughs> anyway, uh, they, you know, just say that she went in the hospital to get the knee operation. Something went horribly wrong and she died on the table. And now yep. you got the Connors and they're, oh. They're, oh and, and you know what went wrong? She had Obamacare. Oh, stop it. <laughs> she had Obamacare. At least she had something, you know. Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I, I listen, I am, I got to tell you, I feel, oh, look, folks, he's bald. Uh, I, um, I am so happy that I paid my dues all those years to after, which is my union. Because the deal I've got now, they, they, you know, as I say, they sent me this thing a year ago, and I didn't pay any attention to it. And then this year, I paid attention, to it and I said, well, "What is this exactly?" And it turns out that because I've been a union member, and now I'm also, I don't pay dues because I, I have senior status, all right, and I, I get the dues for free. Uh, I get to be part of their senior medical plan. There, you know. Oh. A, it, it, it takes care of the of the money that Medicare doesn't pay, and mm -hmm. the price is it, Marjorie's business is pay, paying for it. But even if they weren't paying for it, it's only like two grand a year, and it's the supplemental, and it is wonderful. And the prescription drugs, I'm like, I'm paying less for three months worth of drugs than I was pay, paying for one month of drugs. I mean, how do they do that? Huh? It, it, how, it's a company it, do it and nobody else can it's a company called express scripts that they went with express yeah. scripts it turns out is the number one prescription insurer in the country and hmm. what they do is they buy in bulk and then they ship you the medicine okay hmm. now what they also do is they also do it through walgreens so a block away i have a walgreens community pharmacy and I can go there and get it. And so they give me three months. I have to buy three months at a time. But the three months at a time is cheaper than the one month at a time that I was paying. Of course. Uh, you know, and it, 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 I'm so, it's one of the few things in my life I'm delighted about yeah. at this point. It says here, millions trust Express Scripts for safety, care, and convenience. Yeah. So I guess it's available. There's a, there's a app online that you can install, and I guess it's uh, it's available to to a lot of people. The revenue is over a hundred billion in 2017. Well, that's a that's a good question. Uh, whether the you know whether it's well, available. I'll install the app, and uh, I don't we'll think I don't think you can get it. you can subscribe to it, but it would cost you a lot more than I'm paying for just all my medicine. I'm paying for the insurance for the you know supplemental. I'm paying for the prescription. 
and I'm paying every three months we pay two hundred five hundred and twenty eight dollars. Okay, yeah. uh, 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 that's just more than the s uh, savings of what uh, the prescriptions I'm saving uh, make uh, saving money on. So yeah. it's really pretty amazing. But I don't know. I think if you buy Express Scripts and you're not part of the union and so on, it's going to cost you a hell of a lot more, Phil. Right. Hmm. But a lot of companies are doing this. Uh, we were with Oxford, and Oxford had a thing where you had to buy three months at a time and whatever, but we never checked into that because we didn't like the idea of having our drugs mailed to us uh, and because of our mail service sucks so badly. Well, it, you know, it was just announced uh, two or three days ago that people now will have the uh, ability to have associations. What do you mean associations? Uh, across state lines, uh, within industries, yeah, uh, for healthcare, to uh, the uh, um, it was announced in, at, from the White House that uh, people now will have the ability to combine groups within states or across lines if you're in what, the same what, 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 what kind of groups? You mean like professions and so on? Yeah, sure. Right? Yeah. Yep. And then be able to get the... Uh... To negotiate, like, maybe not as good as you have. Right. But to, to, to negotiate prices based on uh, a number of people who can now go and negotiate yeah. health prices but all i'm saying is that we had like through her job we had oxford and her company was paying twenty one thousand dollars a year for us to be insured and we didn't get jack shit you know uh the prescriptions cost me as i say about two hundred dollars a month now they cost me two hundred dollars every three actually 183 dollars every three months yeah, what do you what do you have what prescriptions do you have it's called it's, it's express scripts no, I mean, what for what? Oh, a lot of different things. Uh, you know, I don't want to go into all the stuff that I take. I take about... Give us the nitty-gritty. Uh, but no, I mean, things like Cialis for my... Not for a boner, but for... Uh, uh, for the pro for, No, for prostate. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I take a statin. I take a, a, a thing that is uh, helps the statin even work better. I have... Um, what is it? Uh... I have finasteride. I have. Uh, let me see here. What else? Um, I can't remember. A couple. A couple other things. You know. Oh, uh, yeah. A blood pressure pill. A thyroid pill. Yeah. Yeah. It's like six pills a month. Yeah. Wow. Well, you know what happens? There was a time when I didn't take anything. And then all of a sudden, one thing goes wrong, and the doctor says, ah, here, take this. It'll help you with your blood pressure, okay? Or it'll help you with your statins, right? You know, to help you with your uh, cholesterol. And then they add another one. And then they add another one. Before you know it, you got six. I'm doing pretty good. I think girlfriend has more than I do. Did you uh, see that thing on Oxycontin uh, uh, the, this morning? They were The company that makes Oxycontin fired all of their salespeople and they're being sued because it seems as though they were pushing doctors to prescribe higher and higher doses uh, and they were using uh, um, uh, adver advertising and techniques that were well, handed. Are they going to stop uh, having these uh, these really sexy women going to the doctor's offices to well, sell this uh, stuff? Yeah, and something. And now they say that they're just going to. Uh, Have you ever sat in a, in a waiting room and seen these salespeople come in and nope. the women with the short <laughs> the skirts? Oh, well, they're all good looking. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah. I used to work in a business that did that. Yeah, and and it, they. It, they had good looking women and good looking men. Yeah. For for all the salespeople. I kind of like the men. You know, you know what used to happen. I they used to give out, uh, you know. Uh, what samples. He, 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 samples, and I had one doctor that uh, when I was taking an antidepressant called uh, what was it? Uh, I can't remember. It's a blue pill. I can't Why remember. were you Zola. depressed? Oh fuck Zola. you! I'm depressed all the time. Why are you Zoloft? Zoloft. 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 He would he would, col he, he would collect he, he would collect all the Zoloft samples. He would collect all. Wait a minute. 
he, he would collect all the Zoloft samples and give me like three months worth when I go to That's see him. Exciting. And and also he says, and by the way, here's a Zoloft pen, here's a Zoloft, Zoloft. calendar, here's a Zoloft, and all this Zoloft pot holders, you know. <laughs> Why are you depressed? You got you got like look at the beautiful people yeah, who are. Yeah, you could ask you get asked the same question. What you know? Why did uh, 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 the the chef? What's his name? Uh, commit suicide. Bourdain. Bourdain. Why did he commit suicide? God, he had the best job in the world. He had to travel to every country in the world, eating the best food in the world. What did he have yeah. to be depressed about? Doesn't matter if you're depressed. You're fucking depressed. Okay. No. Why? But why? But why? after after he killed himself, we're all supposed to gravitate to people like you and ask you why. Why? Uh, the answer uh, is an antidepressants. The, 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 the answer is because I have to talk to Phil every four nights a week. <laughs> <laughs> now, does anybody blame me? <laughs> no. Uh, well, you know, that, that's a good reason. Yeah. You know, but all I'm saying is, you know, I mean, one of the things I'll tell you the, the two things that we uh, we really have to have to have to do in this country to improve things medically. Uh, number one, it should be single payer. I mean, and and especially when people are over the age of um, over the age of sixty five, and you know, you're going to start getting uh, having to see a doctor more and more. Uh, the idea that Medicare only takes care of 20 percent, uh, 80 percent, and that the other 20 percent has to come from somewhere else. So you go to a, a normal insurer and you buy supplemental insurance, which then runs you something like three hundred dollars a month is, 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 is wrong. I think that after all those years of working hard and paying taxes and paying in to uh, the Social Security system and so on, that really you should be t getting taken you know care what? of 100%. Now I know why you're care. depressed, because what? I'm depressed. Why are you depressed? <laughs> I mean, you don't, you don't think that older people should be 100% taken care of medically? You know, I'm from the Alaska, you know, thing. What do you mean the Alaska thing? What is, if you're sick, you freeze to Wait, death? What, what? polar bears. Huh? Leave them out for the polar bears. Oh, I see. Okay, you float them out into an iceberg. It's a joke. I know, I know. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. I would not love eating. I don't think the polar bears, uh, they were kind of like sharks. They just take a bite and say they don't like humans. Hey, listen, I got to tell you, the polar bear is probably the most vicious animal on the planet. Oh, yeah. On the planet. Absolutely. Uh, guys who live in that part of the world carry rifles with them everywhere oh, in yeah. case they get attacked by a polar bear. Because yeah. those bears are, they are the nastiest motherfuckers alive. And everybody loves them. You know, they're on Klondike bars, you know. <laughs> Even more so than grizzlies. And, 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 and when you've got a cartoon, ba cartoon bears, uh, usually the polar bear is the nicest one. He's the happiest one, you know. But uh, right. be believe me, polar, be polar bears are vicious, just vicious. Uh, and um, so, you know, <coughs> gri 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 grizzly bear, bi black bears come a close second on that. But but polar bears are maybe the, that and you know what the polar, other. Polar bears you, are going to eat you. Do you know what the other most dangerous animal is on the planet? I mean, this is Talk weird. Show host. Elephant. Human. No, hip, hip, right. hippopotamus. Hip, 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 hippopotamuses, yeah, hippopotami. Uh, yeah, they're they're dangerous as shit. Yeah. Uh, so great yeah. white sharks. Oh, did you hear about that? That those uh, guys who were uh, uh, that the cougar took the guy. They're mountain biking, and the cougar took pranced on the guy and took out one of their, there were two of these guys and he, and the cougar, uh, the mountain lion and this is an organ, I think he took out the guy and then he was had his jaws around the guy but then his buddy started taking off and the mountain lion started taking off toward the buddy and ended up killing the buddy but the guy who his jaws around the skull ended up escaping and living 
Well, I had a problem with the cougar once, but she wouldn't stop calling me over and over and over again. But then I got older and she didn't care anymore. Don't they say that if you're attacked by a bear, you just have to run faster than your friend? Right. <laughs> but it, it, and the thing of this, I mean, then I looked it up and I thought, well, mountain lions run 30 to 40 miles an hour. And you could... Mountain bike, you're going to do, what, 15 miles an hour? Maybe 20. Uh, mountain bike, oh. uh, yeah. Where Ray lives, they have mountain lion sightings all the time in Palo Alto, don't they? Yeah. Yep, they do. Yeah. I've had them right near my house. Uh, yeah. when I right used near to, the freeway. Uh, I, used to do, I used to do work occasionally at Skywalker Ranch, which is out in the back hills of Marin County. I would go out there to do voiceovers or whatever. Sometimes I just knew people there and went to lunch. And there was a there was a mountain lion on the property who lived on the property that they, they knew was up there. Nobody ever touched him. Nobody ever he never attacked anybody or whatever. But there was there was the Skywalker Ranch mountain lion. So you know, mm. uh, it kept all and, and in in Hollywood in Hollywood, uh, if you stay up in the hills of Hollywood every night, you'll hear the coyotes and the and the cougars. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, but again, they keep calling me. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, Je uh, Jeff, you had your hand up. Yeah, my uh, my mother-in-law lives close to where we are, and uh, she uh, loves to have birds and stuff like that. So she goes and buys this uh, bird holder uh, to give little birds all fed with a bird feeder. And she hangs it up, and it's right at the air, the uh, part of the season when the bear, when all of a sudden the bears come out, and they go right in there, they knock the thing down, and they start eating everything, and she's out there yelling at them, get away from me! I just well I just paid two hundred dollars for that. <laughs> David Letterman loves to tell the story about how he was he has a home in Montana and he walked in the house one day and there was a bear in the house. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and he and, and bears the trouble with bears today is that no matter where you live, they become so unafraid of human beings. Right. You know, that they'll be in your opening, house and you go get it. the hell out of here and it's not like they go running. It's like they sit there and look at you like, fuck you, so you better leave the, the house. Guy, uh, they used to have a show, Jim from Canada. Yeah. He, didn't he always have bears coming up to his house? Yeah. 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 Yeah, that was very common. But he lives in buttfuck Canada, you know. Yeah. And, yeah. and uh, uh, nature, uh, in many places, nature is, is, is predominant. You know, yeah. you're simply living amongst them. Yeah, so. there are yeah. there are towns in Alaska where the bears are like raccoons just roaming the streets. Really, I saw it on sixty minutes or something like that. It's, and, it's and, ridiculous. And the elk, you know, they those yeah. big moose. Uh, they yeah. look like reindeer. They, they just walk around. They're monsters. Yeah, uh, we we yeah. don't we don't have anything here in Harlem because who can possibly live here? You well, know? there was a guy in Harlem who had a tiger in his apartment. Remember that guy? No. Like 10 years ago? No. I think 10, 15 years ago, they found a guy in Harlem who had a tiger in his apartment, a full-grown tiger. Did he end ah. up in the stomach? No, no, they just, somebody reported him, and they took the tiger away. <laughs> I don't know. You're not, you're not allowed to do that. It's just, you know. No, I know. I know. So. Well, let's yeah. see here. We got about 25 minutes left. What should we talk about? Hey, I just looked up the most dangerous animal to humans. You'll yeah. never guess what it is. Uh, Trump? Talk yeah. show host. Other than Trump. <laughs> Mosquitoes. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. 725,000 people a year are killed by mosquitoes. Thank God. <laughs> oh, my God. Seven, Seven, 725,000 people are killed each year by mosquito-borne diseases. Thank you, Obama. The uh, in, in the uh, you know areas of the world, matter. You know that they have uh, yeah, dengue fever, yellow yeah. fever, encephalitis, and other diseases. Wow, wow. Well, they're bloodborne. I guess they're spread by mosquitoes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where, where does uh, Gabnet rank on that list? It's number six. 
right below yes. the black that's mamba. why we that's why we and don't have bottom that's why we don't have any listeners they tune us in and they die yeah. <laughs> well, no that that's probably what's going to happen to your panel <laughs> you, well you know i mean one i'll find out on monday oh, oh, oh really uh, look all i'm saying is maybe you got something wrong with the ticker okay yeah. well, look at jeff He's a walking biological experiment for crying out loud, yeah. <laughs> right? Right, Jeff? Absolutely. You know, whatever whatever I need, I have the surgery anyway. You, you had a valve, an aortic valve, put in, right? I have two of them, one on top of the other. Really? Just in case the other one runs out? <laughs> no, it's a, it's the latest way of putting on uh, another one, which is what I had. Yeah. They put it in through a catheter, and they expand it inside, and it's like a little balloon. Yeah. Boom! It's open, and it's right on top of the other. And I got to right tell up. you, I got to tell you, yeah. for for a guy who's had ticker problems, you want the healthy. Yeah. You look very healthy. Hey, sales. He has a good time. Yeah. This yeah. is the best thing. Wow. You know, but, I, I look at car at anybody here, and I recommend if you got an opportunity to see a cardiologist, go see him. Yeah. Well, well, no, I'm, no, no. Well, sure. my, my, uh, my, I'm very fortunate in that my, uh, my uh, primary physician is a cardiologist. So, I mean, that's his, that's his main um, deal. And he, um, he knows his business, you know, so. Did he, did he tell you you have heart or not? Oh, he said, I'm, he, he said I, I'm sound as the dollar. That's the old joke, right? Yeah. No, uh, that I'm uh, I'm okay. You know, that way I'm not. I, I don't think my heart's going to be the thing to go. But I told him, I said to him the other day. I said, you know, I said I I'm a hypochondriac. I said, <laughs> and and the problem is, I know something's going to get me someday, but I don't know what it's going to be. So I keep waiting to come in one year, and you're going to see the test come back and go. We need to talk. You know. And then I will find out what it is that's going to get me. And you know, he, you'd be the perfect guy to give placebo pills to, and, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and and then tell you they're working. Right. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, this will help you out. Yeah, and they're on sale. The only thing I want is something that's going to make my make my feet not be numb anymore because they hurt a lot. Chiropractor, you know, that's what'll do it. No, fuck chiropractic. Hey. Uh, you know, ask Ray. He knows the benefit of chiropractic. I don't know that it's going to help his feet. Sure, it's a sciatic nerve. It isn't. Well, we, don't do know, well, how, we don't know. We don't know. Who died? And made you? What school did you go to? Medical school. Hey, I had a roommate that was a chiropractor. That you know that it's my sciatic nerve. I think you told me it was. No, I didn't. It could yeah. be. This could be a compressed nerve. You know. Well, yeah, and, and the sciatic one. It's, but neuroth but neuropathy in your feet can be caused by many different things. Yeah, it could be it could be a compressed nerve, it could be sciatica, it could be any tons of things. Your baby. It could be you know listening to Jack Bishop's show. It could be anything could cause it. <laughs> That's right. You could drop dead just you know listening to me rant and rave. Yeah, you're overmodulating. Yeah, you don't, you don't a little bit rant there. and rave. Am I overmodulating? Yeah, turn it down oh, a little bit. Yeah. Right. How, how's that? Is that better? That's better. Yeah. All right. Yeah. How are uh, you? I'm good. I just wanted to say to Phil, look, uh, you know, take it from another heart patient. Uh, don't worry about this stuff. If they're catching it early enough, you'll be okay. They'll crack you open like the crack you open like an oyster. They'll leave a zipper, and uh, you're, uh, you know. This my my buddy comes into the store yesterday. And I hadn't seen him in a while, and he and I told him about this uh, issue I'm having. He said, I was in Mexico uh, uh, a few months ago. He says, I walked up a flight of stairs, and I didn't feel good, so I went to the emergency room, and uh, he said, they uh, uh, quadruple bypass. That's what I'm, uh, I'm walking around with a quad. Well, let him in. And, uh, you know, no you, pain, you, no symptoms, no nothing, just short uh, of breath. Uh, I didn't have uh, pain nor symptoms. I wasn't even short of breath. Ever since I moved to Texas, I've had allergies, mm. and um, one night, eight years ago, my allergies flared up, and I just couldn't 
uh, I could breathe, but I was just so congested, I decided to go over to the emergency room and, and get a steroid injection to take care of that. And they get to rooting around, and they come into the room and, and say, hey, uh, pal, either you have just had a heart attack, or you are about to have a heart attack. Next thing I know, I got a quad bypass when I walk out of the hospital uh, a week and a half later. Wow. And and, so, and, and, a, and, a, and a zipper, right? Oh, I got a hell of a zipper, you know. Right. Uh, yeah, you know, we you know we folks uh, we keloid, and <laughs> so um, so I got a zipper wide enough to move the Santa Fe on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for some reason, you're distorting, and I don't know why. Well, I don't know why either, because yeah. uh, I'm not even getting a barely a flicker. Yeah. Back, L- back off of your microphone just a little bit when you're talking. He's clear. He's uh, coming in clear to me, so it yeah. must be you. Uh, it's probably me. Yeah, it's it's my my hearing's going or something. It's it's, right. it's well, cancer this, of the ear. I think is what it is. Well, this has been <laughs> weird. Uh, this has been a weird week for everything that I've done uh, on Gabnet as far as levels and things. Last night everything was low. Yeah, yeah, you're you're a little bit uh, overmodulated to me and distorting a little bit. Well, let me yeah. address that. How's you that? Know, your show jack has a crackle in uh, in your microphone. It's your not gigahertz is less than your megahertz. It, it's not in my microphone because I do another. It's, a, it's in something that uh, it, it, and it's it, and it's consistent on it your does, show. It does not show up on the other internet program that I do. No, I'm too chiming on you, Alex. Yeah. Well, yeah. Are you really? Do you have a short somewhere? Or? Yeah. Like I said, it doesn't show up on the uh, other program that I do. I have no idea what it is. I've I've spent. Have you listened to the recording? And you. Yeah. Well, Phil, uh, <laughs> I have listened to the recording. I, uh, it it to me it's not there. But then again. I, I do another daily show of a sort for another service, and it doesn't show up at all there. I have to... on Alex. Well, hey, hey. Uh, it doesn't show up here either. No. What am yeah. I? What am I? Am I not yeah. paying you enough? <laughs> <laughs> well, we had that discussion last night on the intersection about the value of Gabnet bucks, and I had talked to my. Uh, investment counselor and he says what are they giving you and i said and i told him what they were giving me he says oh gee if they're you're paying you they're paying you gab net bucks you know you can replace the charmin in your bathroom and get ahead on that uh, well you know, know you know you know what's great about charmin actually we're right up there with bitcoin Okay, so uh, hey, you could do a, a cryptocurrency thing gab net yeah, yeah. No, it's not bitcoin it's bit oh honey yeah. Oh, yeah, that was good, Phil. That was good. Yeah. No, yeah. and also I've got a third part-time job where I stand on a corner in my hometown with a, a, a spray bottle and some paper towel. That's where I really get ahead. Yeah, that's where you get ahead. And it's squeegee. No, no so what? This, this, it, this, I hope to be able it, to. What, what is the what is the other what is the other show you do so we can go listen to it? Jesus H Christ, and it was responsible Hebrews. Uh, I do a blues music program for a guy that uh, I used to work. W- I used to work with more than fifty years ago, before I e- even went to Houston, Alex. Mm-hmm. And I uh, I do an hour a day for him, and it's co- somebody gonna play the blues. <laughs> uh, careful there, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't do anything that'll get us in. Uh, Copyright. Have you thought about a career in advertising? They got those guys that spin those signs out on the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, hey, here, here's you know, an that's, idea. That's can you can you adjust? I would, can you, I would want to do it in Texas in the summertime. Wait a minute. Can you adjust the bass and the treble on your microphone? Yeah, sure, I can't. It's all about the turn up the treble and, and down the ba- turn down the bass a little yeah. bit. It's all right, all about the bass, not the treble. Bass. Yeah, now it's much better. Oh, okay. I see what the problem was. Oh, now I hear you better. Yeah. Yeah. That. Is that better? Yeah. Yeah. No, he's fine. No, he's yeah. fine. Well, let's see, he's, he's doing a blues show, so it's not a talk show. So. No, yeah. no, no. And, and what happened was uh, I'm running out of surface area for things, so I set my keyboard up on top of uh, 
my board, and when I did that, I guess I bumped something. Oh, I bumped the page now seat. it's sounding much better. Well, good. Uh, it, it won't sound better here in 15 minutes, of course, when the show actually starts. So Melania visited your fine state today, did she? Yes, yes, and, uh, and a good time was had by all. Yeah. Well, you know something? I mean, she is not an unpleasant person. And she certainly has done more uh, as far as this issue down there than the president has done. Well, just showing up is... Just showing up, yeah. You, you know. Well, her now, thing is kids. What I loved and was it, he's always got to send her off to places he knows he can't show up. And one of them, for instance, was the Barbara Bush funeral. Because he, <laughs> because he didn't want to be there because Trump, because Clinton would be there, Bush would be there. Obama would be there. Three presidents who all... Presidents usually don't attend First Lady funerals. What? Well, the is others... Is he like did. an entertainment person or is he the president? Come on. Well, I think he's an entertainment person. I mean, no, he's, he, he, he can't go everywhere. And then people say, here's the thing. The next thing people will say, too little, too late. Yeah. Anyway... Uh, you'll, hear uh, that, you'll hear that on yeah. everything. Brian... Too too little. Listen to me. He'll, whatever it is, people will say, I too little, too it. late. I don't care what it is. Brian had his hand up. Yes, Brian. Yeah, I was just going to say, you were saying that, uh, uh, talking about Melania being uh, more being a very pleasant person and that uh, uh, she's one up to Donald Trump in terms of personality and charisma. Well, I was just going to say, or doing one over on him, I was just going to say an anthropomorphic sentient dog turd could one up <laughs> yeah uh, i'll tell you something uh, and it's very interesting she actually has a higher approval rating than donald not surprised well, you know that's but, that's hard. john dillinger has a higher approval rating <laughs> yeah. and he's dead yeah um, but you know i mean my left uh, testicle would probably have a higher approval rating than that I, I, yeah well he's nice. got a 44 percent approval rating right now and uh, until and it was at like forty seven until uh, until this kid thing happened, and well, it, it, it'll go back up. Why? Why? Because uh, he's doing a lot of things that are good it's for the still economy. still the lowest. It's still the lowest in recent history for a president. You know, we had four percent growth this year, Phil. Uh, and how many? And that four percent growth went into whose pocket? Oh, it went into Alex's pocket. Well, it, none of it went into mine to speak of. None of it went into the uh, uh, pockets of folks working at big box stores, yeah. making black, black unemployment is at the lowest lie. level. That's a damn lie. That no, is black a unemployment lie. is at the lowest level. That is a damn years. lie. And no, you're they working two jobs. They have always undercounted black unemployment. You they just told me. You just told me you got a blues show. They, hey, and I'm getting the same kind of money only in what's called blues uh, bucks, RMC, <laughs> classic soul bucks. <laughs> same damn a patriot. Black unemployment has Not always been right. undercounted in this country since the 1950s. Yeah, I'm well, serious, Phil. I should know more about this than you do. I've been black, black longer than you he have. No more because he's black, Phil. Why? Not because he's informed. I'm Jewish? <laughs> yeah. I used to know. I go back so far with Irv that I know him when he was a Negro. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> he almost whoa, goes whoa, back whoa, far enough to know me when well, I was. Oh, Ray's got a hat. Ray's got a good hat here. But, Phil, just so you'll know. Yeah. Our presidents have Fudge these numbers every administration on unemployment in what, general. It's a conspiracy. How does the no, president it, fudge the numbers? It, it, it's 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 really quite You've easy. You've been the Tim too long. It's really quite easy. It started long before. It comes Trump. from a different bureau. It comes from a different. All right, bar. all right. Somebody somebody wrote a note here. James Hall wrote. So what specific policy of Trump's has resulted in lower black unemployment? Tax uh, uh, cuts. Yeah. Tax cuts, yeah, as well as uh, reducing these onerous 
uh, has uh, not appreciably affected black unemployment. As and all the regulations. He has he's, not effectively decreased black unemployment. Yes, it has. Something has because show the me. of labor show statistics. Show me some numbers and tell me where you got them. Okay. Well, court. I'll show you. So, <laughs> here, here's what here's what it is. <laughs> Look. If you people aren't watching this, you really should be. Really? I mean, we've got a festival. We've got a festival of hats, and then a Trump puppet. And uh, of uh, course, next month Trump will be Putin's puppet, according to Trump. uh, My police boat. And what is what is? All right. So you know, I want to respect people's opinion. So let's just let's just take one thing at a time. Yes, sir. Are yeah. is is the black unemployment at a low rate? No. No. How can you prove that? Well, according to uh, the Urban League, which has been tracking this sort of thing for over a hundred years, black unemployment usually usually uh, hovers around twice what the general rate of unemployment is. We've had all of this supposed growth over the last year, or actually over the last uh, eight, nine years, and it did not affect black unemployment appreciably. So uh, let me ask you this question, just one point at a time. So is it less or more unemployment under Obama than Trump? Actually, it, actually, if I can answer that no, one. I, no, the, I want to. I want to ask the expert. Uh, no, no, no. But what I'm saying is, is that under Obama, unemployment went down at a faster rate than it has under Trump. Okay. You know that, In other you words, know that, there may be you, there may be less unemployment you, under this, Trump this, than there was this, under Obama. This, but under the you, Obama administration, you know let me you finish, know SG. Under the Obama administration, the rate of unemployment went down more appreciably than it has with Trump. You know uh, that, hey, oh, oh, do, do you know you that President, President Obama actually uh, inherited a recovery. Do you know that un, un, in his he, uh, he, wait a minute, wait, he, a recovery? Do you remember what was happening when he took office and how we had to bail out all those goddamn companies? Do you hold it? Do you believe it, 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 it wasn't? It wasn't, second, it, wasn't, it wasn't until the fourth month of the Obama administration until uh, actually things turned around and it couldn't been attributed to Obama. It was actually some uh, uh, legislation from the uh, Bush administration that where he in in fact inherited a recovery, and that's when it happened right around the fourth month of 2009. You're wrong. Uh, no, no. You're wrong. You're wrong. And what happened was you Obama inherited Obama uh, Obama inherited a mess. He inherited a recovery. No, no. he didn't. He, no, listen, he didn't. We were yeah, because cases. the stimulus was you, first. You, 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 call, you, you call the banks, the banks going into default? You call the banks going into default uh, uh, a, 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 an upwards, uh, upward trend? with the word Forbes at one point we were within three days not of a recession but actual depression yeah, well, that's what that. they said about North Korea and nuclear war but hey do you believe Bloomberg Alex do you believe Bloomberg uh, Bloomberg's headline here is uh, under economics black unemployment is at an all time low alright and what kind of jobs are you talking about you know, six point. It fell to six percent. You can put in April. people to work at big box stores, stuffing bags, and call that an improvement. What really matters is what's in your pay. Uh, you know what the improvement could have been, Jack? The improvement mm. could have been that their uh, their uh, what do you call it? Their unemployment compensation ran out. And once That's that happens, true. you are no longer on the unemployed rolls. This yeah. is from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Statistics. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm gonna, this is nuclear to me, but uh, they they still they said that 6.6 percent still uh, uh, high uh, because other groups 
uh, uh, in, in April was 4.8% for Hispanics, 36 for whites, and 27 for Asian Americans. Hmm. So, are, are, you, are you familiar with labor participation rates? No. Uh, Alex? No. And your gentleman who's... Uh, okay, so the labor participation rates under Obama were totally different than what they are now. All of a sudden, we have more jobs than people available. Wait a minute. This, the labor you you can look at you can look at and Alex uh, just and Alex you can look just at the unemployment. The, you can look at the. That's you can something look at that is the, very very you true. Can the, you can look at the whatever, but it's the labor participation rates mm. which were horrible okay. under the Obama Let let uh, let uh, let Jack speak. Alex just pointed out something that's really quite true. When you no longer are getting unemployment checks, you are effectively taken off the unemployment rolls. That's been true since uh, since they jacked with those statistics back in the 70s. You know, we black folks have a saying that is still very, very true. Last one hired, first one fired. Mm. Another thing that is very true is that Figures lie and liars figure. All right. You know who I look to is Diamond and Silk. If, we, if, if, if Diamond and Silk. Okay. So I look to them as people who, because I really don't have a black the black experience, but they are people who. I promote, knew and she was great. Pardon me? Yeah, she I didn't did, think that much great. of you, Phil, but I'll give you, uh, she, she gave uh, you a a rating of a 6.2. Are, and and so when, when 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 people on Facebook or whatever they they say this about that, I use their what they are saying. I use what they say. They, you know the labor participation rate now is so much lower. Well, than, let me ask you this: What's a good, was, what constitutes a good job? What, where uh, jobs where people are working building things that always pay better, or these bullshit service economy jobs that seem to be uh, what folks wind up working at. Well, wait a minute. Let me, let, me finish, let, me, let me let me let me finish mentioning. Uh, 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 let me mention something here. Hold on a second, SG. You said that Obama inherited an upswing economy. What did yeah. Trump inherit? Uh, wait a minute. What did Trump inherit? No, I th I think that uh, he inherited a pretty good economy. Okay, and would that be as a result of Obama? But, but would that but, be as a result no, but, of Obama? Let me say let me say this. Let me say this about that, and I'm glad you brought this up because Hillary and everyone said if he got elected, that there would be Armageddon, that there would be that 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 uh, well, the, the world. The, he said that the world markets would collapse. They said that there would be recession, and early, yet it's and still yes. early in this administration. No, this, this is what was you know, said. We're, we're getting into a hey, hey, we're getting into we're getting we're, we're getting. And that's what he promised. Well, uh, you may see uh, you, so, may, you so may you may may see a lack of that growth because of the and, and current now, trade now, war that's about now, to happen. Now we're okay. Now we're about to hit uh, four hey. percent GDP. There's a Which theme. Is, there's a theme being played. There's a theme being played. SG. We're playing the theme. We gotta go. SG. We gotta go. No, you. Yes, we do. God How much damn you. did they put on talk shows? You look and you look. Right. You look like there a perverted. You look like a perverted Dr. Seuss character right now. Hey, did they uh, put a time on talk shows? Yes, yeah. Uh, 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 put a time limit on you, Phil. Thank you, Phil. Thank you. Uh, Jeff, thank you for joining us this evening. Uh, it's even just a frustration listening, isn't it? Uh, uh, Brian Ludwig, we always love having you here. Any last words? No, it's just bullshit. Okay. Shining dog hitting the diamonds. Kind of. <laughs> yeah. SG, That's always a pleasure stuff. talking with you. And, of thank course, you, Ray Renati, what can I say? You're one of the best. Thank you for joining us once again. I hope you'll all maybe go over and call Jack and continue this argument with him uh i'm uh, I w i'd like you to all kind of wave goodbye and say goodbye to those folks out there in television land 
All right. There they are, ladies and gentlemen. That's the Citizens Panel. They're going away now, and I'll make sure they go away because I'll get rid of them. And uh, the next show, which is uh, Jack's show, Jack Bishop's show, The Intersection, is next over mo- this most of the, most, most, of the, most of the same station. Uh, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow uh, night after Damian Chaplin does the exchange. I'll see you at 10 o'clock, same time. Uh, oh, oh, Connections is on at uh, 1 o'clock this morning. Okay. Uh, uh, I'll see you tomorrow night at uh, 10 o'clock, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye, everybody. Bye.